everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Ooh, Terry's ever so happy. She went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I am in the kitchen with Karen today and Terry. Hi, girls. Hello. So very excited. Uh, Simon did this morning's live with us and now he's trotted off home because he's got photographs to do. So we've got, we've got the pleasure of Terry. And Terry has done her first stream to Bus Green Flowers, Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nozzles, and YouTube. So give us a wave, let us know that you're there. So, which, where are you going to do comments, Karen? I'm Nifty nozzles. I've got, oh, I've got or bus I cream flowers. I could do one both. You can do one both. And are you doing YouTube? YouTube. Yes. Right, okay. So let us know that here. Give us a big wave. Say hello. And then I will tell you why we're popping up on Tuesdays, okay? So, uh, so that you know what we're doing and what bus cream flowers is. And I'm going to take a little seat because I've been on my feet all morning. But I will be up and down. So it will drive Terry mad because the camera she'll have to keep adjusting for my sit-down camera, my stand-up camera. <laughs> I it. So this morning I did um, a Zoom uh, demonstration for the British Sugarcraft Guild. So, um, so it went very well. We sold out of tickets. I actually thought it was tickets for sale for you guys and I misunderstood and I placed it and it was actually for the members. Anyhow, they were very chuffed because uh, they started selling tickets far faster than what they were expecting to and then they thought, oh, hang on a minute, something's going on with sugar and crumbs here. So we sold out, so well done, really pleased about that. I do think they're going to open up some more tickets if you want to buy them, if you want to buy the recording from this morning um, because they've recorded it. Now those ladies who bought a ticket, you're going to be sent a link and what happens then, um, because I know some of you bought the ticket and couldn't watch today because you're at work. So watch, what they're going to do is they're going to send you a link of the recording this morning. And then you have got so many days to download it to your computer. If you don't download it, that's it. But once you download it to your computer, it's yours forever to keep. All right. So it wasn't a class. It was a demonstration, but nice and slow. And this is what we made. So what do you think? So what we did is we used buttercream and we made a ball cake. I think it's quite pretty and I wanted to show everybody how easy simple so if you get somebody saying I need a cake tomorrow very quick for, for a Mother's Day or a mother or something a bit girly you know what get your sponges in the oven that night and you can whack out this cake in the morning ever so quickly and then I showed them how to make some little cupcakes Terry's going around there with the uh, Russian piping tips, nifty nozzles, and then I actually showed them how to make some Swiss meringue buttercream with the whipping it up mix, and this is the, this is what we've done the rose swirls with there as well. So um, so they got loads to see this morning. It was a great demo, and the funny thing is they all got muted, so they're all chat chat chat, and then the button went ding. Right, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like it. How good was that? Have so that was great fun. One? Pardon? Have we got one. I hope we do one for me. <laughs> Carol, they loved it this morning. They said you did great. Oh, thank you. And can you believe it? I finished early as well. And um, so it was a two-hour session. What? I know, two-hour session, and we finished at... It's, I thought it started at 10, but it started at half past 10. It was 10 till half past for you to get yourself in and have a chat and everybody all get logged on. And then at half past 10, we went live. We didn't actually go live till 20 to 11. Even though I was there and you could see me and chat to me, we actually didn't start the dem till then. And we finished at quarter past and then um, and then it was just a bit of chat afterwards and a few thank yous, which is lovely. So for the Guild, I actually, for everybody who bought a ticket, I put two prizes on. So they're very pleased with the prizes that I put on this morning. And I've also put on an offer for them this morning as well. So that was an impromptu offer for them but because I've got to put it live on the website for them to buy rather than me fix up a code from to buy nozzles to buy icing sugar and everything else I've just told them that the offer is on till five o'clock tonight and um, I didn't tell John <laughs> and he's wondering what the hell was going on so um, I've just messaged John and said right you need to send out an email and let everybody else know so if anybody wants to buy anything nozzles are um, the Russian pipe and tip nozzles, nifty nozzles, have been reduced to £2 for the large, £3 for the extra large. Icing sugar is on at £2 a bag at the moment and whipping it up is at three ninety nine a bag. You've got till 5 o'clock. So basically, I am doing this live and then I'm going into the nifty nozzles class and I'm doing their prep class. And then when I finish that prep class, I'll be then going and taking it all off. So, you've got, so while you're watching today, one hand watching, one hand buying, okay? 
So, um, and I, they also said in that class that I had no 352 nozzles. We did, I knew we had, but they just hadn't been put into stock. So Karen at the warehouse has very kindly gone and put them into stock. So we're all sorted. So get shopping girls. Right, so what is buttercream flowers? So buttercream flowers is a class that I started last year during lockdown. I started three classes last year for myself. So I do cupcake bouquets, which is £60. And once you go into that Facebook group, you get every session I do. So you're not paying £60 for one class. You're paying £60 and you have access to every class and it's yours there forever. So, so far I've done 13 classes in that group and we've done from bouquets from a three to a 75. So there's a lot of content in there. And then our next bouquet class starts in February this year and all those members that were in that group I'm not a meanie me, John and I are very generous, okay, so what we've done is rather than say, right, that's that, your, that group, we're going to start another group for new members, we've just said, no, you know what, stay there girls, we'll bring the new members into here, so that means new members for the Cupcake Bouquet, you can go back over the last 13 classes that we've done, okay, and it also means the members that are in that group get another year out of us, so how cool is that, can't be any more generous than that, can we? Um, we're not going to do 13 classes this year. I think I'll be doing bouquets a um, bit more selective. So I'll be doing February for Valentine's Day. Then I'm going to do one for March for Mother's Day. And then I might take April off and do something for... Fa you can't get Father's Day, can you? But we'll do a summer one or a baby one. So there won't be as many in there, but there'll be at least six classes in there this year. Then I do my Nifty Nozzles class. Now my Nifty Nozzles class was teaching you how to do Nifty Nozzles and I do them on lives here as well. But it was just a bit more close up and everybody could have a go with us as well. And that was designed to have three classes. So if you look at the link, when you, when you get the link, it does say three classes. But then I threw a, a, another class in, so uh, which is our final class. Now that class was £40, but I put it on offer at Christmas for £30 and it's still on offer. So if you still want to buy that, there's already three classes in there already okay so you've got those three classes and then you've got the one coming up and anybody who watches any of my classes they will tell you what great fun they are okay and um, so you'll enjoy them but we are going to make a summer umbrella with nifty nozzles and this afternoon after this session we will be um, doing our preparation class because we need to get the handle and the other little bits of elements done ready for next week's class so it's drying out yeah and then our last class is Buttercream Flowers, which is what we're streaming into the main page now. Now, Buttercream Flowers was for me to show you how to make flowers, not with the Russian piping tips, with piping tips. You know, the 102, 103, 125, a 74, and so forth. Now, I have to admit, I'm not the best, but I'm very... I was going to say, but I'm very good. Um, <laughs> so I'm not the best. I'm not a professional, but I do do a good job of them and they look great. And every member who's joined has loved them. Now that class is £75 and we were going to do one class a week every Tuesday and one flower. And how we was going to do that flower was on a cupcake or on a board. But instead, each class has got two flowers every week. And I think we've done a total of 23 classes in there. So if you look at that, that two flowers per class that's 46 flowers but there has been one or two classes with one flower in but there's been one or two classes with three flowers in so what we've done we've done them on cupcakes and then we've done them on boards so we've done them on a board so imagining that was the top of a cake and then we've actually done them on cakes so we've gone through so if you join that class go right back to the beginning and if somebody wants to work out 75 pound divided by 23 so uh, have, the, have you worked out the cupcake bouquet class yet, anybody? Has anybody worked that out yet? £60 divided by 13, and then divide £75 divided by 23. That's how much each class has cost you. And then don't forget, you've got all this year's classes. So the class is on Tuesday afternoon. You don't have to do it with us on the day. You can watch when you want. We've got lots of ladies who don't do it with us now. They're all back in work, and they watch when they uh, want to watch it. And I get loads of messages with ladies who've done it at the weekend and go, 
Carol and Margot Carol, I can't believe I've done it, which is wonderful. Um, so the idea was at Christmas is that I finished my classes for Butter Cream Flowers. I was going to take the first two weeks in January off because next week I was meant to be going on a well-earned holiday. I've not actually had a holiday now for nearly two years. So it'd be, I think it's 20 months since I've actually been on holiday. So I was going to go on a, a much needed rest. John had treated me. And unfortunately with the lockdown that's been cancelled. But the idea was no classes for the first two weeks. Then I was away on holiday. Then I was going to come back and have a week back at home, get back into the swing of things again, and then start the whole bush cream flowers again. So that's not happened. Um, but I did say to the ladies in the class that I really want to be able to do stripe cakes. And um, you saw my first attempt last week, and we'll talk about my complete boo-boo, because I'm a complete ding-dong at times, and uh, I just don't even think about it, but we'll sort it, we'll talk about that later. So John said, well look, if it's only you practicing, why do it in the Buzz Cream Flowers class? Why don't you share it with the main page? So here we are, making a complete fool of myself in front of everybody. She said to, she said to John, but well, I don't want to make a myself in front of a small class. <laughs> That's what I did. So, John, I, I said, you know, there's some things I wing have never done before, but I'm going to make a complete idiot of myself here. And he's going, well, let everybody else see it. He said, you do that. He said, that everything you do is first go anyhow. So, anyhow, so that's what we did last week. And we're now back again this week. So, any of you who want to join us on Tuesdays for the next few weeks, right up until the middle of February, um, these classes are going to be open to the main page. And it's all about me teaching myself because I never get time to decorate the only time i get to decorate is with my little family on tuesdays in buttercream flowers so it's a big group but i have like a little posse of 40 that are there every week week in week out and um so it's good so i hope you like that idea that we've opened it up to the page i'll get karen to talk to you in a minute and tell you what's going on with the, all the comments in a minute so that is what's happening so if you want to join nifty nozzles please do please do it's on offer please think about joining buttercream flowers you can make that into payments now if you want to do three payments all you need to do is phone laura in the office and make an arrangement with her now she doesn't want to be changing you chasing you she wants you every month to phone her and say right i've got my first pay you paid your first payment you're in the group i want to pay my second payment stay in the group i want to pay my third payment i'm definitely in the group Right. okay and um so that that's it so that that's if you want to make payments and if you want to clump all the glasses together and pay payments again same idea we might take it over four months so um to spread them out if you want to do it that way so speak to laura all right so that's where we're up to um so um, i just want to show you about what we did with the british sugar craft girls so thank you caroline harvey and jillian i don't know jillian's second name but i have to say a big thank you to them because i should have been down there with them not may just gone the may before and um, then obviously last year we had lockdown and then i i should be with them this may uh, but obviously with the lockdown and everything now and they don't feel that we have an event this year so on the 8th of may there's actually a whole day of events and there's four tutors there's myself there's um dawn butler from dinky doodle and there's two other ladies i just can't think who they are at the moment and that's 10 pound a ticket for the 8th of may wow. so i will get that up so you can watch all day and um it's it's those four demonstrations and of course we're gonna have um, a really nice big offer on on that day all right so if you join that and it will only be for those people who buy that ticket right so i'm going to get these out of the way Ooh. We've got a great audience. We've got right. over 200 between the two groups. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we've got a great audience. You all loved it this morning. I've got a couple of ladies on buttercream flowers who've just joined your Nifty Nozzles class. Ah, oh, fantastic. And they say that they, they, and they all do agree. It doesn't matter what price you work it out at, there's still fantastic value. It's cheap, is it? Has anybody actually worked out the physical cost of the class? Terry, come on. Get, get. I, I can't because if I'm yeah. going to be, I'm going to get your Why do you think I do artistic things? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll get it out. Yeah. So if you join buttercream flowers, okay so that's 75 pound let's get my calculator so 75 pound divided by 23 so that's three pound 26 a class come on girls wow. three pound 26 and you've got this year's classes coming on so come on 23 and that's so that means it's going to get cheaper so if we do every tuesday again so let's say another however many classes that we do um, I mean, it's just going to get cheaper, isn't it? And cheaper. And the bouquet class is sixty pound 
divided by 13 classes, that's £4.61 a class you're paying to make stunning, beautiful bouquets. And it's a nice class for that price. And you get mine and Karen's company Absolutely. all day. And if you watch any of the past classes, you will have got Simon or Antonia, and now you'll get Terry. Yes. So, yes. And, it's, and they really are a fun-filled day. Yeah, so brilliant. think of the cost of them all. So it means that you are a member forever. So everything I do in those classes are the and the nifty nozzles if you're paying 30 pounds then divide that by four and then obviously the ones who paid 40 pound they they pay 10 pound a class but it's a great class you learn them right so i have put my i've already crumb coated one cake and that is my buttercream cake now the cakes the cakes are at the foot the crumb what i should have done last week ding i should have put the crumb coat on and put that in the fridge and let it firm up and then never put it back in the fridge again and you know i want to sort of swear here but you know if you've ever felt a complete muppet i felt one when i was scraping the buttercream so if you want to go back for a laugh last week and karen was laughing she was going you're scraping it going you will scrape those, those you muscles, will those scrape those muscles, those muscles were going and uh, you know it's it's not rocket science is it when you get butter it's freaking rock hard so what on earth i put it in the fridge for you know proper school girl era but we're making swiss meringue buttercream now so let's go and make that because we're doing two cakes so um so we've got our cakes here i've already whipped up the butter till it's lovely light and fluffy now look how lovely and white that is okay and that's because i've whipped the living daylights out of it so i've got myself well and truly organized today i didn't make the british sugar craft girls suffer the mixer for six minutes and i'm not going to do the same to you either so that's our um uh, butter, Swiss buttercream butter ready for the whipping it up so we're going to use velvet vanilla now there's 500 grams of butter in there and we're going to use 500 grams of the whipping it up so we're using a full bag so on this morning's class we only used half a bag Geraldine uh, sorry Madeline, Madeline Albert said that's what I did wrong then she well, put it in the fridge yes I know sorry Sorry girls, all of you who did it last week, but I did say I was learning. <laughs> now you're learning with me. Put your so, crumb coat in the fridge. In the <laughs> yeah, so we're only putting the crumb coat in the fridge. <laughs> what we will do is the Swiss meringue goes in the fridge. So I've just got myself a little bit muddled up. But anyhow, it's entertaining. And you know what? I've never professed to be in a professional. So you've got professional bakers who've been decorators who've been doing it for years. And you know what? They can do it stood up on their hands upside down on their hands but there's me and you in the kitchen isn't there and when there's me and you in the kitchen or just me and karen or whatever we've just got to work it out haven't we so what better way to work it out with me on a tuesday <laughs> so um i put a whole bag of whipping it up so whipping it up is a brand new product from sugar and crumbs it was launched in may last year now this is a, a new product to the market and it's a multi-mix and I am the first person to bring out an actual multi-mix. Now in Australia and America there's a product called, I think it's Austra uh, America as well, there's a product called Queens and they have a pavlova mix, they have a meringue mix, uh, a macron mix. Now here in the UK you've got Squire's Kitchen who have uh, a macron mix, a pavlova mix, a macron mix and, um, and then we've decided we want a mix that makes everything. So it won't make everything, but we want a mix that's gonna make a whole load of things together. So you just buy the one mix. We've done it in white, one color only, okay? Just like our icing sugars. And the reason we've done that, so when I first started Sugar and Crumbs, when we come to do the icing sugars, people ask me to color them. And I said, no, because, tell me now, we've got strawberry milkshake. So what color do I color it? Do I color it bright pink? baby pink and really I can't have sort of like 10 strawberry milkshakes on the shelf there in various colours of pink and that would be the same for all the flavours so this is going back on the mixer now so before I put it on the mixer so let's remind you I'm doing a full packet 500 grams of butter okay softened butter beating the living daylights out of it we put a whole bag of whipping it up in and now we need to get our water so I need to every now and again I need to shut up talking and think about what I'm doing so. That just said, did you say it's equal amounts of butter and sugar? Yes, for whipping it up. Are you using whipping it up or are you using buttercream? Because we are going to do a buttercream cake as well. So um, I don't know which, I know some of you are doing it with me today. But um, remember which one you're doing. If you're doing buttercream, 
buttercream, crumb coat your cake, get that in the fridge, and then it never goes back in the fridge again. Let me just get a little jug and some scales. Wait a minute. Okay. Leslie Irving says, my very first macarons when you went as we speak. Ooh, Ooh. Good, good. So I saw on the page, well, I didn't see on the page because I've not actually been on the group so Karen says that there's somebody posted their very first macarons this morning and, they and they're lovely. highly delighted. So there you go. Where's the water? So we need 270 mils of water. So let me just measure that out. So what we've done now is we uh, put this into the machine, we're going to turn it on slowly, don't turn it on fast, So, and then we're going to start trickling the water in, okay? So remember for the Swiss round buttercream we now need to start trickling in the water. So in it goes, start trickling, and don't throw it in, alright? Now I nearly did that on last night's live, I nearly threw the whole lot in. Don't know what was wrong with me last night, I think it was bonkers last night. I was all over the place, wasn't I? So, uh, Michelle says, slow down, Carol, you end up eating chocolate macarons with a strawberry. Shut <laughs> up. You know what? I would have put money on it that I had a strawberry macaron. I need to go back and watch that live. I think you got her having me over. So, I was watching the video, and then I thought, did you eat a chocolate one? I knew you'd eaten a chocolate one. I watched you, but you said, no, yeah, sugar, I thought. Yeah, Danny Grundy says she gets a notification. So. Uh, 
Blancmange, that's an old name, like that isn't word. it? Have you ever heard that? <laughs> oh, I used Blanche. to love Blancmange when I was a kid. I only like, I only like the red with the pink one, that's strawberry. Yeah, that's. A, I think that's a kid thing, that yeah. isn't it? My grandma used to have it. Do you? Uh, did in you? Trifle. Have, Eh? In a trifle. Yeah, but my grandma used to have a tin rabbit, and we used to, every Sunday we always used to go around and we'd get um, a blancmange, a bl pink blancmange rabbit out of the tin. My grandma had a glass one. Did she? Yeah. Hell! Yeah. Right, so cake drum. We've got a like... question from. I've just lost it. So I'm just going to open up my can of coke. Sorry, I can't. So, to... yes, oh, I'm sorry, I've lost the name. She was asking about when will the nifty nozzles be back in stock. Oh. I know, and, and, and she must have been watching last night. Mm. I'll talk to you about the nifty nozzles in a second. Yeah, sorry, it was Lisa Marie Brew. Sorry, I just found your name. Yeah. So let me just tell you about the nifty nozzles. So I only stock the genuine ones from Russia. So the gentleman who designed them is called Alexander Levadev. He is the official owner of the Russian piping tips. And I got talking to him when he brought them out in 2015. And I asked him, could I be his European stockist? And thankfully he said yes. And then from then on, he's actually designed our own designs. So not any that I've done. Laura, my daughter, has done them. So the Christmas tree, the fern, um, the fern. We had a dove. We had a snowman. Um, we've got Bella. Um, I can't think of them all. Dahlia. Um, oh, I don't know. There's loads of them. Anyhow, we've, anyhow, we've got loads of them. So then, um, so then we were, so we were working together, and. Um, working together and that was great and then Barry Davies from Karen Davies said Carol you need to get them registered so I thought it was something that um, Alexander could do and it turns out he couldn't do it 
because he is not from Europe. So sorry, I've got a little bit too much on there. So you have to live in the country of where you want to register or you have to go through another provider. So um, I then said, well, I'll register them. So I've registered them and I've paid for the registration and Alexander's happy with that because it's a massive cost. I actually tried to register them in America, but in America you need to register with a patent and to be fair, I've never really told John the official amount that I've actually paid. So let's just tell you now, it's over £20,000 that I've spent on registrations um, in America. And um, I haven't been given the correct advice, unfortunately, because when you go through an agent, because I don't live in America or have an American address, I had to go through an agent. And then in the end, I've just given up. So, so the actual designs belong to myself and Alexander. So I know some people don't always believe that. But I'm not quite sure why I would stand on a Facebook Live and say the Russian piping tips belong to me and they don't. Got to be a bit bullshit to do that, haven't I? Okay. So if you ever see anybody who says I don't own the Russian piping tips, send them my way and they can have proof of the certificates because I do own them with joint ownership with Alexander. So, um, so that's where we are at. Anyhow, when lockdown happened, they treated things a little bit differently in Russia than they had. They're a bit firmer over there with their way that they deal with things. So when everybody was in lockdown there, it was lockdown. You were only allowed out for essentials um, and they didn't go to work. And then when, so we couldn't get nothing off them while they were in the first lockdown like us. Um, they, couldn't, they couldn't go to work because it wasn't a class, to, their job wasn't classed as essential. So then when they did go back to work, they've struggled getting steel and they're still struggling to get steel. So at the moment, we are sorting out how we are going to get nozzles and that is going to take a little bit of time, but we're on it. But don't be buying those nasty Chinese copies. So uh, wait till we get it done. You will get them and you'll all love them when we get them, but they're going to take a bit of time. It's definitely going to take a few months. So we've been talking to people and we will definitely get the problem sorted out, but I just can't give you the heads up on it yet. We've answered Pat's question because she asked, can you crumb coat the Swiss meringue buttercream? Yes, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> now, now the cake with the Swiss meringue buttercream is the one that goes in the fridge. So this is the one that goes in the fridge all the time between layers, not the buttercream one that I did last week, you know, when I did my ding dong school girl error, okay? So I've got my crumb coated one in the fridge and that's the only time it's going to go in the fridge. It won't go in the fridge again. So we're playing with combs. So we're playing with combs today. I'll show you what we're playing with. So I've put an, an offer on on Evil Cake Genius um, combs as well. So um, I used to stock Evil Cake Genius and I will stock them again, but not for the moment. At the moment, while we've just come out of Brexit and while we've got lockdown on, the shipping cost from around the world for everything is far too expensive. So uh, you can either buy combs off me and then once they're gone, they're gone and then go to Evil Cake Genius and pay the shipping from him. Um, it looks cheaper when you buy from him, but then you're buying dollars. But then when you have the shipping on, it actually works out the same. Um, but when everything's all sorted out, I will go back to Evil Cake Genius and I will buy their combs off them again because they're amazing. Um, at the moment, I've managed to get stock of the Wilton combs, a set of three, which is what we're going to use, and they're brilliant as well. Right, Debbie, Debbie says, why shouldn't you put a buttercream cake in the fridge? I think she's getting a bit mixed up. Oh, I'll up. tell you in a minute. way too stiff. You were paying attention last week, weren't you? Watch last week's video. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll talk about it in a minute. I'm just going to go over my cake again. It's gorgeous and white that, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to go over my cake again. And then I'm going to let Karen ask me the question again so that I understand what you mean. Because you can put a buttercream coat in the fridge, but we're doing stripes today. And I learned last week that I shouldn't have put it in the fridge. Bit of a ding dong thing for me to do. So let me just fill in some of my holes there. 
So this is just the first coat, okay? So this is just the first coat. Oh, now, Annie didn't see a line last week because she was working nights last week. Ah, week. right. Which Debbie is it? Debbie Todd. Ah, right. Debbie Todd. So when you see me, you never see me straight in the top of my cakes. And the reason I don't is because I'm going to put flowers all over it, so I don't need to worry. Plus, I can't do sharp edges yet. That's another lesson. Yeah, we're whispering because I can't do them. <laughs> right? That's not a joke either. That's quite serious. So I don't know whether you know, but every cake I've done has never had a sharp edge. We need to bring rounded edges back into fashion. <laughs> I, I definitely think they're, under, they're underrated, uh, round edges, aren't they? We'll be the ring leaders. Right. <laughs> so we are going to, so this is our Swiss meringue buttercream cake. And this is going to go in and out the fridge, in and out the fridge, all right? But our buttercream cake now, that's been in the fridge, is going to come out. And it's going to stay out, all right? So we're going to pop that in the fridge. Can I swap places? Do you want to give me the... There you go. Thank you. And then you can give me the buttercream on back. So we're going to move our Swiss meringue buttercream out of the way. We're going to move all those tools out of the way. We're going to have a little clean up. Carol Gatton was with you. She said, I can't do edge design. Good. Who can do edges? Do we care? No. Rachel Hannah. <laughs> Is hey, hey Rachel Anna watching? I'm going to teach how to do a sharp edge in the next class next month, oh. Carol. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not getting out of that one. <laughs> that way may, may well be the challenge that you wish you never offered to do, Rachel. <laughs> There's many who's tried. <laughs> right, so this is our buttercream cake. So let me go and wash all my utensils in a minute. And Karen is going to shout out some hellos to remind any newbies what we're doing. And I am just going to go and wash everything so that we're all nice and clean again. Yeah? So, go on, Karen, have well, you go. Yeah, Pat says round edges look so much softer. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki says quite agree, round edges. We've got a lot of people who love round edges. Yeah. Absolutely. I think we should just start doing them again. Just round edges. Um, Karen, uh, Karen Claire Roberts says, uh, what's that scraper called you've just used? Is it it's our shovel and, shovel and crumb scraper it is? They, they may be out of stock, but they're back in stock tonight. Trisha loves it when you wing it. Because she, she says, I'm like a carol, I wing it and she enjoys eating it. Yeah. So absolutely, <laughs> and this is what it's all about. We've got load, we've got... We've got absolutely, we've got passing the 300 people watching us on both classes now. Oh, right, really good. Between the two classes, so we've got a really good audience. 30 on YouTube. Wow. They've all been stocking up on their sugars. And oh, so they've already put an order in, so look at that, we've got another order in now as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so this is my class. Look, I'm going to take this mixer down as well, just so I don't turn that on. And um, so this is my, it's not a class, this is me teaching myself how to do stripes. So anybody who watched me last week realised I made a complete boo-boo last week. So I made one with Swiss meringue buttercream and one with buttercream. And I kept popping them in and out the freezer. And one lady did say, no, you don't put buttercream in. And I just totally ignored what she was saying. So whoever that was, I do apologise. I feel like getting on my knees going, why did you not shout louder? Why did you not go dong? So anyhow, so there we are. Right, so this is my buttercream cake. So we put the crumb coat on. I'm quite impressed with this for a crumb coat. So, um, but no sharp edges. And then, um, so this is the only time it's going to go in the fridge, okay? So now we're going to layer it lovely and thick, and then we're going to start combing. And that was the mistake. So if you think about butter, this is what Ding Dong should have done here last week. So what I should have done was, I should have thought about butter. When you have butter in the fridge, it's rock hard, isn't it? So why have I put the cake in the fridge when I need to scrape it? So very silly. Right. Pauline Pippet says, does Swiss buttercream set firmer than buttercream? No. Buttercream is firmer. Swiss meringue buttercream is very, very soft, and you need to put it in the fridge to firm up. So let me find my buttercream. So I've got two drinks on the go. I've got three drinks on the go. So I've got a coffee. Yeah. I've got a can of Coke, Diet Coke, no caffeine. So I've got a decaffeinated coffee, a can of Coke, no, uh, no uh, sweetener, no caffeine in, and a bottle of water. And you will see me drinking them all. It's just the way I lead my life at the moment. And this, so. one, this morning's cake, it was done in a six-inch... 
So, See, the bulletin, yeah. so we used the PME bulletin. Because Gillian, it was sold out when Gillian agreed he tried to do it, ah. so she wants to do it again. Right, I have got an order in with PME. Now every supplier that I deal with, I'm on next day delivery, but with PME, they don't, they don't offer that service. You get it when you get it, but I've been on to the man this afternoon and said, listen, I gave you yesterday off before I started mitering you. Now I need to mitre you. Can you just let me have my order? So he's gonna see what he can do. So I'm hoping I might have some good news tonight or tomorrow. And the other thing with PME, with every other supplier I use, I know what I'm getting, but with PME, Land in the gods, don't know. Um, so I've got lots of things to put in stock because I placed another order with another company is very similar, so I've not put theirs in. Pink boards, after the live, I can put pink boards in stock tonight because I do believe they're arriving today or tomorrow. Uh, no, to, they're, they're being dispatched today and we should get them tomorrow. Right, so let's put another coat on. So now we have to put a thick coat on. So Okay, so we've got to put a nice big thick coat on because you want to get your comb through it. What I should do is... I don't, are you very, are you only good at drawing pictures on the computer, Terry? Um, how do you like a, right, because what I should do is draw you a picture of the cake and then why you have to put a thick coat on because of the combs having to cut through it. Okay. So I'll try and draw one for Terry and then I'll try and get her to do me a sort of like a graphic. Oh, that right. we can put yeah. up. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, oh, you do that great, good. I Pardon? <laughs> like to do like a quick <laughs> sketch or something. Yeah, no, no. I was like, how do I get this on the computer? <laughs> so we've now got to put a lot of buttercream on. Because we want it nice and thick. Oh, so David, is that any ganache plates are going to come in as well? Yes, ganache plates will be in tonight as well. Oh, that's another order. Put. So, David, he's another order put on now. Right, and then I've made them bigger because Rachel, who's doing your wedding class cake, okay, she suggested that we had them made 6.5, so we've had them made bigger. So talking to classes, loads of classes, ladies. So um, Tracy Mann's got classes on with Whipping It Up. So if you're buying Whipping It Up off the website now, then you want to go and join Tracy's classes because she's doing a royal icing course, okay? So you want to go and join on that. She did a beautiful cake last week. And tonight she's going to show you how to make flowers with Whipping It Up. She's going to do piped flowers with Whipping It Up in royal icing, okay? So you want to do that? See what I said? Multi-mix. So that's what's so good about whipping it up. You can use it for lots of things. And then, um, so classes coming up. We've got Jerry's face class, facial expressions. You want to get on that. Then the next class then that we have is um, Rachel Hannah's uh, class for the introduction to wedding cakes. Now, Rachel dropped herself in it and said she's going to do two wedding cakes for you. So crikey, that's really generous. All the tips that you need and then she'll come back and she'll do another wedding cake class later on in the year she probably doesn't know this but i'll just let her know now so <laughs> uh, where it's more advanced okay so um so this introduction to wedding cakes and it's sold really well that class is like bouncing lots of people have joined that class so that's 40 pound the knowledge she's going to give you in that class you can't buy anywhere for 40 pound okay so if you want to buy that then you should and then we have got the fairy cake being done. So the fairy cake is being done with Julie Rogerson. And Julie is a wonderful young lady. She's been up and done a couple of lives for her. She um, has also done some work for Katie Sue um, when they've been doing their product launches. She's done decorating for them. She's also won awards at Cake International, just like Rachel Hannah. See, we only get the best people in for you. So, um, you know... And then, and then after that, we've got, who else have we got in then? We've got um, Jerry back in again, doing the princess cake. We've got Doreen. Doreen, Doreen in. Do oh, yes, Doreen. Doreen. Do Valentine, do. Do. <laughs> So we've got uh, Doreen. So can you see him putting a nice big thick layer on? So this is my buttercream cake. So those ladies who are doing buttercream. And we've got, um, we've got Hattery. Cake doing these yep. sculptured bronze holes. She's the end of February, so you've yes. got a little bit of time yet. So if you want to get classes sorted out, the classes you want to get on for now is you want to be booking £25 for the faces. Okay? That's what you want to be booking. Then you want to be booking for the wedding. That's the next one. And then the carved fairy cake. 
Okay, so they're the classes that are um, imminent. They're coming up in the next few weeks. So that's what you want to get on and then we'll talk about it. Now, you are learning things in these classes. Don't go by just the picture because the ladies are at home. They send a picture, but they show you far more in class than what you get off the picture, okay? And lots of ladies who've been on our classes will tell you that. You learn far more. Uh, what we do say is, you can do them on the day, but there's some classes we do think you should sit back and watch. I do want to talk to you about, uh, about the Cake Illusionist Cat class, the Sculptured Bronze Horse. Now, John has done his boo-boo, so um, he sent out an email to you saying it's £30. Thankfully, I've had nobody complain. That class is £40. And um, what Hannah wants to do is she wants to get you up to your next level. So there's the sculptured classes and then there's the structures. So she's taking you softly, gently into structures so you don't need to be scared. So those of you who want to run off and buy a jigsaw and some other little bits of tools, off you go. Or you want to get your husband involved, off you go. Uh, because she is going to show you how to do those. But John put on the email £30 but the class is actually £40. Right, so I've got my cake on there. Now I'm not going to crumb coat this. I'm not going to smooth it at this stage. Okay, you can smooth it, but I don't see as we need to really. So this could be a, this could be a fatal boo boo again, but we'll see. So where's my combs? So I'm using these three combs from Wilton. So yep, there they are. I'm going to go for this one again. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I think I've got it on thick enough. Just let me have a look. I just want to make sure there's friggin' loads on. So. I think you are meant to smooth it out to make it even, but you know what? We're going to do it the Kerouac Farland way. We're going to wing our way through this again. Will Ollie be doing any more classes? Yes, Ollie is doing some more classes. I've left him alone because for Christmas, chocolate making, they're just like a lunatic's. He, he actually did a massive big boo-boo saying he would do a class for us in December. Even his dad said, what? Because it was like, you must be mad. So um, I do need to speak to him to see what he's got in mind for us. So put plenty of new moulds up. So some of you asking about the joystick mould, the giant geometric mould. So my supplier will be back in stock on the 21st of January. So be patient, ladies. That's only next week. Can you believe it? We all think we're at the beginning of January and we're already halfway through, aren't we? My grandson is, uh, my second grandson is 18 on the 16th. When's the 16th? The 12th. So I can't believe it, two 18 year old grandchildren. So, uh, so um, you shouldn't really sit down to do this, but I just need to sit down because my back is broken, all right? So we're gonna pop this in there. So if we watch there, so what we want this to do is we want it to go in and that's why it has to be deep, yep. So we're just, that's why your buttercream has to be deep. And I've just sat that in and it's not quite deep enough yet, so. Well, while you put another coat on, Lulu Cottrell says, she hasn't done any of Hannah's classes. Yeah. Would the horse was be too much for her? Would it be okay? Um, I want to to do it for her daughter's birthday. Um, I would message Hannah and ask Hannah yourself. I think you'll be able to do it, to be fair, because I'm actually doing that class as well. You are? On, on your birthday? <laughs> on my birthday, that class is. So, and Hannah is very confident I'll be able to do it. So, um, so I don't know. You know what? Message Hannah on their Facebook and ask her in her honest opinion. Do you think do you think she'll be able to do it? I think a lot of you ladies who don't join that class, when you see what goes out, when everybody's sharing their cakes afterwards, you'll be very sad that you didn't join it. I think you'd be very sad not joining all the classes because, ladies, this is the cheapest way for you to get classes. And, you know, at home, so you don't got no hotel accommodation. You don't need to drive anywhere. You don't need to have your best bib and tucker on. You don't need to do it. You know. You, you're saving an absolute fortune you're at home and the good thing is we've all done classes where we've been with somebody and how many times you've got home and then you've never done the cake and then when you've gone come to give it a go again you can't remember everything even though you get class notes but you just can't remember everything and the good thing is with these tutors with them being online here they can get through it they just show you more and more don't they karen they do 
They yeah. show you far yeah. more than what they're supposed to show you. They do because they say they want to and yeah. they actually do, they actually do they do share a lot of hints and tips. And they, they don't really do. when they're doing a class with students, they don't have that time with students because they're trying to get round ten students, so they don't have that time. So are we ready? Don't know whether I'm ready, but you know what, we're going to go for it. So let's stick that in there, okay? And we're going to go again. Right, okay, so I'm just going to move that there. So hold, make sure, so that isn't very straight, is it? I can see that straight away. Would help if I sat it up straight. There we go. So there you go. That's a good thing, but having the camera there in front, isn't it? So <laughs> well done, Terry. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to hold the board to make sure it doesn't slip anywhere. And then we are just going to, are we? We are just going to take that round, scrape that off. We might just leave it back on again because we might have to put some back on. <laughs> Rachel says she's true, she's a classic oversharer. Yes, absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I've got the cream on the I've got the cream on the comb there, but I'm not going to scrape it off yet because I want to fill in some gaps. So I'm just going to set it up there again, and then I'm just going to wipe it back in, if that makes sense. Because if we go around again, oh yeah. nice and gentle. So don't knock the cream off. If we go around again. It's actually putting it back on again. Can you see? Yes. And that's uh, one of the secrets. Look at this of me teaching myself. Can you believe it? Look at this. Carol McFarlane. Oh, crikey, I'm pleased with that bit. Can we just take a picture of that bit there? <laughs> oh, look at that. That bit looks that bad, does it? <laughs> so still not wiping the buttercream off. So we're going to go place it back in again. Ooh, who's going to be brave enough to have a go now? Quite a few of you had a go last week. I'm very impressed. And this is why we don't put the buttercream in the fridge like I did last week. So, so sorry for you ladies who did it with me. Did tell you I was learning. So we're just going to do that. Elizabeth sorry. Goddard says, Carol, I still can't do it, but I would love to do some of them. Please can I tell you? Can you tell me what? She'd love to do some, but she still can't do it. She, she can't do it, but she'd love to do some of them. Do some what? The classes. Ah, I don't know what that means actually. Just uh, you'll have to just give me a little bit more information. So I'm just filling in a couple of spaces. I like that. What? The way, you, like you said, you have to go deep to get that lovely indentation. Yeah. So I'm just going to fill in a couple of little spaces, little gaps there. So we've got Madge Bank on YouTube. She says she's liked and shared. So just to remind oh, everyone. Oh yes, don't forget to like and share, share, everyone. So um, there's no prizes for liking and sharing these daytime ones. Only Karen's mornings and our Monday and Thursday nights. We've changed the prizes. So for Karen's morning, we're giving um, a brownie bundle away. And for my nighttime one, we're doing this big bundle. Oh, the big boy. So it's like £39 worth, £37.99 worth of stuff it is. So let's just clean this off. And um, it also means that you get that rather than thinking, right, well, I've got to pay postage, I've got to spend £25 plus pay postage. You know what? It's just been shipped out to you straight away. Whole load of goodies. It makes sense, doesn't it? Do you like that idea? Right, okay. I came up with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I come up with all the good ideas. You so I tell you. I was just going to tell you that. Eh? I just want to say that to you. You have all right. the best ideas. So we go in there, I'm going to go around again. That's looking all right, That's isn't it? That. Not perfect, but girls, we've got next week. I'm not, I'm not messing around with this now anymore, I'm bored. So, well, that's well, it. Ger <laughs> Geraldine and Helen have both said the same sort of thing. They love the online classes and the fantastic value because how many of you go to a day class and then go home and forget what you've learned? I've done it every time. Yes. I've gone on a class, gone home, completely exhausted, shattered, and then don't want to do it again. And then when I do want to do it, can I freaking remember? Not a chance. Right, so we're going to make some coloured buttercream now. I like so, those stripes. Yeah, that's all right, isn't mm. it? So we're going to make some coloured buttercream. So we're going to use green again. Not this green, it's a little bit of luminous. So we're going to do something a bit different with the stripes. 
So where is this? Is the buttercream, isn't it? I didn't even know what the buttercream was. We've moved these Swiss meringue out of the way. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all I mean, put a Swiss meringue buttercream on it, isn't it? Okay. So we're just going to a little bit of that. And then we're going to just put a little dab of this little luminous green in that I made. So let's mix that up. So you should have a, a number 10 or a number 12 nozzle. The number 10 works better, but I don't think I've got two number 10s. So I'm having to use one 10 and one 12. So I need it a little bit greener. So we'll take a little bit more from my luminous green. Well, they're all very impressed with your stripes. Yeah, not bad. Second go. Second yes. go, girls. Just think in six weeks I might be able to do it. <laughs> Jane said it's your best one yet. Best one yet. You are rascals, I tell you. Do you know what? Even the British Sugar Craft Guild, I couldn't get away with that this morning. I'm sure it was Lynn Woodward who went, it's your best one yet, Carol. <laughs> yeah. You are rascals, all of you. Just put a little bit more pink in. So, Michelle, if you want to do numerous courses in a payment plan, call the office on 0161 393 5056. Yeah, they're interest free payments, okay? All we actually do is pay them. We don't ever like phoning you chasing for money. We're very polite as a company. So we'd really appreciate it. It's every month, whatever day you say. So if it's going to be the first of the month, the 14th of the month, on that date, you phone us and pay us again. That's all we ask. Fair enough, isn't it? So we're just doing a nice baby pink here. Right, okay. My on YouTube says it looks absolutely great, Carol. So far, so we might smash it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let me get some piping bags. Oh, there we have, we've got some here. How easy was that? So we've got two here, so I need three piping bags. So I need three, one for the green, one for the pink, and one for the white. And you'll be thinking, what's she going to do with the white? So, I'm making sure that goes in there. Yep. So I'm using a 10 and a 12, because I don't think I've got another 10 or 12 here. Danny Just one second. says, the payment plan, is it flexible over how many months can it be over? Uh, just hang on, hang on, hang on. Just let me find the nozzle apparently in a minute. I'll be back in a moment. Sorry, while I was up that end, I thought I'd have a route for another nozzle, but I'll just have to go without. So, uh, um, I don't think, depends how many classes. If it's one class, you know, the less months. If it's more classes, I'm, I'm happy to go a maximum of six months. Can't really do any longer than that. Um, I think John and Laura just might kill me. So, uh, so uh, if you can do whatever you want to do over six months, it's interest free. It's with us. There's no credit arrangement. It's a good. It's a. It's a gentleman's handshake. So we don't tie you in or anything. We just like you to not disappear and just pay us. That's all. Jonathan Hodgson says no chilling between scraping and adding colours. Then that's right. Yes, on the buttercream one. Okay, so we are going to do the um, Swiss meringue one. So you're fine now, I'm putting white buttercream in here with no nozzle. You'll be asking yourself, why am I doing that? I'm not quite sure myself yet, but we'll... You figure it out as you go along. Yeah. And when does that tell white going back in stock? Oh, do you know what? I placed an order. Is it gel or... Um, is it gel or is it um, the airbrush? I don't know, it's just a mix. It's just lots of if it all did was Fractel white. Right, okay. Is it the, just let me know if it's the gel or the airbrush. I did place an order with them two weeks ago, but they're actually based in Hungary. So, um, and I placed their first order of the year. So we went, oh, crap, you're quick off the mark, Carol. Yeah, we did the first one for them. Yeah. Gel. Uh, right, okay, well, we've got a bit of a problem there because I forgot to order gel. <laughs> so, <laughs> I only realised last night that I ordered everything else and didn't order gel, so I'll order that. Um, right, need another bag. Back to the plan, though. Uh, our Madge on YouTube says, Carol, you are so fair and accommodating. So we are, I'm a really nice woman. 
Even I though I say nice. so myself. <laughs> Tell me, what other business owner gets up and does lives all day, all the time? All free content. There's no one, is there? There's just me. And all, in it, all I ask in your return, and that's the only thing I ask, is, you know, just help promote our company. You don't have to spend loads of money with me or anything like that. Just promote us and support us. And so many of you do, which is great. I'm going to put the green in here. So I was telling Karen my design, so we'll have to see if it works. Oops. So Nick says, because you're not under the gel, how easy is the, the powder to mix in? Oh, dead easy. So powder, if you're going to use the powder, okay, grab, it, grab the powder a little bit, add a drop of water at a time, make it into a thick paste, okay, and then drop that in. Right, so I've got to sit down again, girls. Can't do this standing up. Let's get this out of the way. I will so, agree, you're a one-off. You're totally unique. You're probably more than a major. Could, yeah. Could you imagine if there was two? Could you imagine if I drank? What would I be like? <laughs> eh? Could you imagine that? That's a problem. I've got nothing to blame it on. Everybody goes, oh, it's because I had a drink. I can't even blame it on that. Right, okay then. So, we've got our stripes here. Okay, so I am going to go in with the green. So we're going to go in with the green, fill it up. Yeah, then I'm going to go in with the green again. You can do your own, those who are doing them. Now, I have got a couple of gaps here that I should have filled in, but you know what? We'll manage. So then we're going to do pink. Now, I haven't actually worked out with stripes. Now, if you were clever, the design we're going to do now, we should really be counting our stripes and then working out how far we can do this design so we're probably going to end up a little bit dodgy looking but you know what it's only week two isn't it come on girls yeah then I'm going to get my white don't know whether I want that okay right okay let me have a little think about this I'm not gonna cut me all too big yeah I am see this is what happens when you don't have a nozzle I don't know where I don't know where all the tens are you've got a few cousins in tens Karen's on the circuit for a nozzle well while we're doing that okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna have a think we might run out of stripes so what I planned to do was I'm gonna to have to do it this way so I was gonna to plan to do number 10 yeah please have you got another 10 12 will do there you go see Karen to the rescue you think you can cut a bag and then you, you always cut it too big. So when you cut your bags as well, when you cut it, make sure you get rid of that out the way. 
Because they have nasty but I have just shut out my coffee. No, it's safe. Uh, <laughs> I'll have a drink while it's here. That is something you would do. Oh. Do you, know, you know what? One time, if you give me a cold coffee, I'd go mental. I'm like, what are you giving me a cold coffee for? But now, do we all do it as cake makers? Don't we all drink cold coffee now? I think we cold tea now. Oh, give me like three years ago, I'm it. I'm yeah, now exactly. I just drink it. Like, yeah, just drink it. It's awful. But we do, don't we? Right, okay. So, we're going to put white in here. So this morning when you did your own uh, sugar craft guild, was it buttercream or Swiss meringue cream you used? We used buttercream. And then I just did the rose swirls with Swiss meringue buttercream. Right. Okay. So we got that there. Yeah. I'm thinking I was missing a stripe, but I filled it in with white, haven't I? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just going to put a bit more green in there. A bit more in there. Right, girls, here's the big moment. Right, let's get my spatula again. So these scrapers, okay, these are the sugar and crumb scrapers. Got a nice little curve on there if it's old. Okay. And now the best thing to do with this now is to go and pour boiling water, hot water over it. So, and I didn't do that last week. So Karen's boiled the kettle for me. I'm just going to see how hot that is still. So I'm just going to pop it back in the kettle, turn the kettle on. Yeah. yeah. I'll do it because you're going to yeah. shout out comments. And Karen is going to shout out comments, say hello, and if there's any happy birthdays, Karen and Terry are going to sing. <laughs> right, be back. <laughs> hello then. We've <laughs> <laughs> just got lots of people watching. They've had a little a drum roll for you there for when you do that, Carol. They said you're, you're, you're doing that. You're too professional now, those strikes <laughs> on that cake. Hey, lesson two. I know. Alison says, get you, Carol, with all starting like a true professional. Hey, well, they can do it as well. It's only lesson two. So, Anna, <laughs> Anna, Anna Tusi says, can you tell me more about your buttercream flowers and bone cake class? If I can only do one, which one should she do? Oh, I don't know. I'll let the ladies tell you. Yeah. Let the audience tell you what they think, because they're both excellent classes. And Elizabeth, the scraper that Carol was using, it's, the, uh, it's a, a scraper, it's a sugar and crumbs scraper, and you can find it on the sugar and crumbs brand under the accessories. It may be out of stock, but when I finish this live, I'll be putting it back into stock. And Karen Claire Roberts says, your company and all your staff are brilliant, you're a first class business. Oh, thank you. So let me just tell you something, because the sale is on, I'll get her to put me back on the front page. So because the sale is on, and then there's new stock coming in as well, because so scrapers are coming in in Ashbrooks, place your order, okay, so you don't miss out on the sale, but when you want to order the um, scrapers or the ganache plates that come in afterwards, do a click and collect. So what to do is, so you don't miss out on the sale, so I've got sale on whipping it up, icing sugar and nozzles. So place your order for them, okay, click, don't save it because they'll go out the sale when we finish this live, when we finish the prep class later. So then, so click, pay for that. And then later on, when I put the scrapers in, the pink boards, the green boards, the ganache plates into stock, okay, and some more stuff that I ordered yesterday that I can't remember, I need to have a think about it. And then you can do a click and collect and I'll let you do a click and collect, but you must put in comments, please put with my order that I bought this afternoon so do that and I'll let you do that now because all the posts everything's gone and I will be able to warn Laura in the morning when she prints them off what to do yeah okay because it's gone three o'clock so they won't be there printing off orders now uh, right. uh, um, question from Nick when's the Queen of Hearts stick piping bags going oh, to oh I stock? messaged them I'm waiting for them I bought all their stock off them so I bought everything off them last year and they had no stock left whatsoever and then I'm just waiting for them. But I have got the Simply Making Piping bags in that are just as good. So I sell three brands of bags when I can get them and it's whichever I can get my hands on, believe me, like frigging gold dust. So I buy Talia, Simply Making or Queen of Hearts. 
I only use quality bags, okay? So all these are brilliant. I don't recommend anything else. They never stretch, they don't burst, they don't split down the seam. So they're all good bags and they're all the same price. So you're not paying any more, okay? When are your PME circle cutters back in? Because I've got a few I've babies, ordered them. these. I have ordered them and I was chasing the man this afternoon from PME from them. And if you can tell me how many you want, I may have to order some more. So I'll have to message him and go, okay, put me some more in. Right, okay, so put your hands up and let me know. Right, I'm just going to go and warm my scraper. another 10 or 20 sets so they're on my original order so I'm just waiting for my man from PME to tell me when he's going to get it shipped out for me see if he can push me to the front of the queue but I have to be careful because the supplier is watching all the suppliers watching we don't want to probably be lazy why should you get pushed no. to the front <laughs> that's all <laughs> that's why I can't tell you my man's name at PME because he'll get into trouble some secret man at PME. <laughs> He's quite a handsome secret man, actually. We've got four upstairs, so they're, they're coming through fine. And are the non slip mats on the website? The non slip mats are out of stock. They're, 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 the company can't get these at all, so I'm waiting for them. I've got bigger non slip mats, but it's the circle ones that you want, isn't it? That's hot. That's hot. Um, do we sell turntables, Carol? What turntables? So I, the only turntables I sell is. I sell um, the plastic ones from Cakestar, which are fine. So when you're starting out, they're absolutely fine. But then you need to go up a level. Um, there's some on Amazon. Now, on Amazon, I believed I bought an Atico table, which was this one. So I believe that this was a Tico because that's what it said. Anyhow, it isn't. And this, what this does is it does spin by itself. It's got a heavy cake on it at the moment, so it's not doing too bad. And I've got another one, so I was really upset. But it turns out that... The sneaky little people on Amazon who sell their stuff sometimes put in search names of a brand and you think you're buying that brand and you're not. So, But I do sell a Tico tables but we're out of stock which is this white one here and um, they're out of stock but the supplier does know I want some so as and soon as they get them in. Vanilla whipping up's gone out of stock. Oh has it? <laughs> right. Do you want to message John to see if there's any more and they've not put in to see what's at the warehouse? So uh, right okay then. So, um, here we go, all right. So, scraper, so our warm scraper now. We're gonna go around. I'm gonna go around. And we're gonna go around, okay? So we've got our colors there. So it still looks a bit smooshed, doesn't it? So don't knock off these colors. So set it up, and we're gonna spread it in. I'm gonna go around. Just keep lining it up, take your time. So don't forget, this is class two. So I'm teaching myself stripes. So this is class two. Not saying I've got it perfect yet, but we're getting there girls, we're getting there. So I don't know who the ladies who are doing it with me today. So I'm just going to get out another tool called a little rolly. Well, Karen's going to get it out for me. So I've got a little hole there. Can you see that? So I'm just going to try. So if you line this up, this is why you shouldn't throw this away. So we're just going to line that up. I'm going to see. Have we filled it in? It's gone in a bit more, hasn't it? Oh, I filled it in. Look at that. So I haven't got my stripes perfect yet, but we're there though, aren't we? Class two. Wow. So not even a class, it's the second session, isn't it? Look yeah, at that, girls. What do you think? I'm impressed. I am. Loving it. Yeah? I think I'm going to leave it alone now. 
There was a song called Leave It Alone Now. Who was it who used to sing that? I used to love that. Was it Cindy Lauper or something like that? You're getting, you're getting good out your turn. Is it, I think we're alone. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have me singing it, crikey. We'll lose everyone. But that's not bad, is it, girls, eh? Look at that, run our second class. Look at that. Man says right. very good. Eh? Man says very good on YouTube. Oh, thank you. So that's my second one. Not perfect, because look, I've still, I'm still not got it right here yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... And I think that's probably because of what I filled in. So I'm just going to can't get the white there. Bother me that. There you go. It's coming, isn't it? Who's going to give this a go? Who's going to buy the Wilson scrapers? There you go. Hey, yeah, that'll have to do it. I'm still a bit not perfect, but I'm quite happy with that. That's not bad, is it? Are we happy? I'm very proud. Right, so, and you'll see the stripes are on there. Go to the other end, sorry. Yeah, so we've not knocked any of that off because that hole that we had, we used that for pushing it back in again, didn't we? So, not bad that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off now. Okay. Take it off now. Clean my scraper. Are you all amazed? I'm amazed. Carol said, yeah, the more you took off, the better it looked. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's the secret. That's why you've got to put a thick coat on. Yeah. Right, so what I've done now, clean my scraper. Okay. So I'm just going to do it again. There we go. There we go. I think that's the best I'm going to get today. I'm quite yeah, happy I with that. It's lovely, really nice. I'm quite happy with that. There you go. So that's my training myself, class two. So how many times do you lot want to be in your kitchen and think, you know what, I want to have a practice? And that's basically all we've done. So I want to have a practice, and there I am having a practice. Right, so I'm going to get my piping stuff here, cut it up. I think it looks fabulous. Thank you. So I'm going to cut that up. So I'm just going to get one of the big gem nozzles that I used last week. They love the colours as well. Oh, thanks. Not bad, is it? So we've still not sorted out the sharp edges yet. We're not worried about them. What I want to do is by week six, we've sorted this out. We've got sharp edges and we've got drips on. That's where we're going, yeah? So let's get the next one on. And let's get me the gem nozzle. We've got those tips out, those so we sold out of these last week, but I can't remember if I've ordered any more. So I'm going to use, what should we use? We'll use this 2M, so it's a bit bigger, isn't it? Oh, actually, no, I think we'll use that one. What's that? A 2ES. So we'll use that one. Let's get a piping bag. And then we'll do the Swiss meringue buttercream. So the two EF. Remember these sharp ones, okay? Put them on the end of your finger. Roll down your piping bag like a packet of stockings. Like a, like a packet of stockings. Like a pair of stockings. Don't go to the end. Just take it off there. So I only use small bags. I do sell big bags. Sell them in pink and blue, the big ones. But I'm just much happier with a small bag. I'd rather... Refill, refill, and I need to throw those scissors away. Pink balls are coming in tomorrow. Pink balls are coming in tomorrow, so they'll be going on the website tonight. So grab your sugars, grab your whipping it up, okay, now, and then grab your nifty nozzles. Put a bit more green in. Well, texture is not texted back yet, so I have texted no. it. Right, okay. Put that in. So 
So remember, we're not going for any sharp edges here, ladies. Let's get rid of all these bags. And then we're going to do our Swiss meringue bus green. I'm going to have to get a move on because we go live in the next class. What time do we go live in the next class? Four. Pardon? Oh, so we're all right. Oh, we've got an hour and seven minutes yet. Yeah. <laughs> no way, don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means I can't clean up. <laughs> so uh, let's just see what we're going to do here Have then. Have you got any news on the grey boards yet, please? Oh, gosh, I'm fed up with that question. Right, OK, so grey boards is the same guy I get my pink boards off. So he, I said yesterday on last night's live, um, I am mithering him to death and his guy that he deals with, we get them from Germany and the guy he deals with is off last week and uh, he didn't have a chance to speak to him yesterday because he's dealing with a big order to Japan yesterday so he was very stressed by man. So he said he will be on it and I have made a commitment to buy them. So we don't know how much they're going to be, we don't know how much the shipping's going to be, we don't know anything. I just hope you lot are going to buy them because John's going to kill me because I'm going to have 96 of them when they come in. So, um, but we've just got to wait. We've got to be patient, girls. You can't buy them anywhere else. Just be patient. We'll get them. Right, so, okay, so all I'm going to do is, I'm just, I don't know what this swirl's going to look like. So, we're just going to... Okay, we're just going to turn it round. That's all you're going to do. got just enough to get all the way around so some of you bought that Savoy set off me last week and it's the 2ES in that Savoy set I think I've ordered some more I'll double check on my order because we are sold out of that as well but that's a great thing in nozzles and then I got Karen see this is what happens when I'm talking I got Karen to get the little rolly stuff out I bloody forgot to use it where is the little rolly there he is <laughs> right <laughs> I actually don't think I need to roll it, do you? No, 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 don't touch your stripes. It's, yeah. it's fine as it is. I don't think I need to do it, so there, no. Karen, job wasted. It's alright. Right. <laughs> that was a dumb thing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so what do we think of that then? Okay, could have done with a bit more pink there, but we just run out. So let's get some sprinkles on. So, sprinkles, sprinkles. Now I bought some new sprinkles. So let's have a couple of these. Kat Harrison is saying, can we pre-order grey boards? I don't know how much they are. Yes. So I don't know how much they are because I don't want you paying a deposit for them and then they're coming in and then you're saying, oh, well, I don't want them now. Right, John says we can add some units to the website. Hello? John said we can We're add telling some to add them. So let me just put um, so a couple of little sprinkles on. So these are new uh, rods that we got in yesterday from purple cupcakes they're absolutely lovely they are edible but they are hard these okay so but they, you know what they're great look how pretty these are so uh let me know what color do you need, need over there i need a white one over there oh threw away threw away so i'll just throw one of them on there oh, do you want me to taste them for you they, they're just raw spaghetti but you can eat them there Actually, they're not that hard. They're not actually. that hard, actually. You got through them there, didn't yeah, you? They're not that hard. And then um, we've got a couple of these chocolate balls. Whoops. Oh, I'll have to taste that one. <laughs> For me. I went wondering. So, a couple of chocolate balls. There we go. Let's put green one on. The other one. I love those, I think they're so vibrant. They're nice, aren't they? They're gorgeous. And then, should we get a bit of bling bling out? And that's cake number one done. So, a little bit of bling bling. There's a bling bling. I've moved the, I've changed cupboards now. I don't know what cupboards I've got bling bling oh, in. I know. Right? I know. I actually have. don't know where anything <laughs> is. Do you know where anything is? I'm just learning. <laughs> when I want something, I'm going through every cupboard to find it. <laughs> <laughs> so, a bit of, bit of bling bling. There we go. And the right, it's a lovely spring fresh cake. Yeah, nice it's that, gorgeous. isn't it? So that's week two on our stripes. Who's going to come back for week three next week? And the big balls on the cakes, cap, they're from, they're from Purple Cupcakes. They're yeah. new on the website. They're new on the website. Everything's in What's New. So they're the 10M chocolate rainbows for pearls, they are. They're, deliver they're lovely. And I was just going to put some of this Love is in the Air sprinkles. So I was just going to chuck a couple of those on as and well. And what piping tip did you just use then? So, a Savoy one? Yeah. So I used it because a lot of you ladies last week bought that um, 
set off me and I'm just I've got some more I think I've got some more on order if I haven't I've got to go back and chat my man up at PA me frankly so um so a lot of you bought this set off me last week okay and this has got loads of massive nozzles so if you think about your 1m where's the 1m nozzle uh, one M, one M, one M. And Phil, did they get that whipping it up? It's back in stock. Alright, John's done it. John's, right. John's going to have them to it now, yeah. He'll be having them in the warehouse tomorrow, get that bloody whipping it up, mate. So, <laughs> to be fair, we always have loads in the warehouse, but we just never know what we have. So, um, so the one M nozzle, this isn't the one M, but it's the same size as the one M. Look at these, how big are these are. So, if you look at them, look. So, the, the next biggest ones, look, these are giant ones. So I had these and we sold out last week, um, but uh, I've got, I, I'm almost sure I've got more coming in. Right, okay then, so did we enjoy that? What do we think, Karen? So should we get on with the Swiss meringue buttercream one now? Yeah. Right, so let's get that in. Okay, so we'll go, that that can go, that can go in the fridge. And do you want to get me out the Swiss meringue buttercream? Okay, off the top of your head, do you know what the voice set is? Off the top of my head, no. No, I, I didn't think it was, it's <laughs> all right, I'm just going to the website now. <laughs> So for the Swiss meringue buttercream one, we're going to do something different. We're going to use a different comb and we're going to use this side, this effect. So when Terry comes back, I'll get her to uh, show you this one. So we're not going to do any stripes with this one. We're just going to use this effect. So we're going to use this side here because this set of three combs has six different sides. So um, what we'll do is over the next six weeks well we had last week and this week and then next week we'll use another set so next week we'll maybe use that one and we'll do another stripe so we'll do another stripe next week and then we'll do another we'll use another one of these yeah so because how many times do we buy tools and don't use them it's 27.99 what is the Savoy set if oh is it right I can bloody I'm glad I didn't go off my off my <laughs> please remember <laughs> I'd have had no idea but you're getting 12 massive nozzles in there. So I think they're out of stock, but I'm sure. They're out of stock, yeah. So I'm sure that I bought some more. So this cake's been in the fridge. Okay, now we need to fridge it a little bit more when we put this in. So this is the Swiss meringue buttercream. Okay. I'll tell you what, you never know. I might get good at doing cakes. What do you think? <laughs> it could be a business here for you, Carol. Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. I'm very happy just giving cakes away. Not a chance. I tell you, I admire all you people who do cakes for a living. You must be stressed out your head. See, the thing is, I like to decorate cakes because I want to enjoy and I want to play. That's all I want to do. I just want to play. And, um, and that's what we're going to be doing here for the next six, six weeks. So the ladies who are in buttercream flowers who have just joined, you can be going through all the other classes. My advice to you, if you have joined the buttercream flowers, start from class one. Because what happens is, because we're a group, we have a conversation. So if you start in class five, you'd be like, it's like opening a book in the middle. Yeah. The conversation doesn't follow, right? So it's a conversation. It's only chit chat. Gossip. <laughs> whatever else is going on in our lives. Before, eh? so it's always carrying on from the week before. Yeah. It's so, um, so start from week one, and, and also your your progress. Your, the ladies will show you how well you progress through it. So all the ladies here are in Buster Green Flowers. Go on, shout. Is that the right way to do it? I have a unique way of butter cream and a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Says it. She said, no, you're doing a second cake. She's exhausted. <laughs> hey, and I knocked these out in two hours. Well, Lulu said that stripe cake, she said it was so quick and so effective. Yeah, and that's my second practice cake. So we're not doing bad, girls. So if I can do that in my second practice cake, some of you lot, you're going to be there. Tongs out tonight, won't you? I'm going to beat that Karen McFarland and do one better. And that's <laughs> what you should be doing. So I won't be practicing again until next Tuesday. So this is what these Tuesday classes are at the moment. They were my practice, but it was just going to be for us in the buttercream flowers group. But then John said, share it with everybody. So that means I've got professionals watching today who are like, what the friggin' hell is she doing? But do we care? No, we don't. Because this is us in our kitchen, isn't it? This is you in your kitchen. 
you know, and you've now got something that you want to try and you don't want somebody going, oh, you have to do it like this, you have to do it like that. You know what? Just play with it. So, nice big thick coat. Now, we do have to put this in the fridge. So I'm just going to get um, Terry to take some stuff out of the freezer. So, we'll just leave us on that camera, Terry. Take some stuff out of the freezer and put them in the fridge. You need to get me a full shelf. Your frill nozzle from last night yeah. is out of stock now. No, it can't be. Do you say it's, it's out of stock? The 172. It's now on my wish list. It can't be out of stock. The one, the gem 172. That was the frill nozzle, wasn't it, last night? Yeah. Yeah, they said it's, it's out of stock. Oh, it can't be. Listen, do your order. And then just in your order notes, just say, please hold my order while Carol checks 172 stock and nozzles. Because I bought 100 of them and I put 49 in stock. And I asked the warehouse to update the stock and I said the nozzles are on my desk. And, um, and I think they've just not put them in. It's like today there was no 352s and I said, that's not true. That's not true. We've got 352s in. And then Karen went downstairs, not this Karen, Karen at the office, and she found 230 odd 352s, of which she put 100 in stock just in case we had sold some. But there's no way, there wasn't 200 odd in stock, so we have got them. So place your order so you don't miss out on your icing sugar sale. But then in the, you get a little box in the order notes. Don't be sending me text messages, I'll miss them. I haven't got time to read them. Put it in the order notes, that's what it's there for. And say, Carol said, hold this order while she finds the 172 gem nozzle. Well, Helen says they are showing in stock. They are in stock. And uh, it's, the, it's the frill tubes bundle that's out of stock, Jill, uh, Jillian the says. Oh, the frill tubes. Yes, they are out of stock, yes. I've, I've ordered some more. Whether I'm going to get them, they're with PME. Sorry, the frill tubes pack of seven. I thought you meant that nozzle. Well, the 172 is in stock, Elizabeth. Yeah, I was going to say, we didn't sell 49 last night. Crikey. If we sold them that fast, I'd be doing a demo with them every week. <laughs> right. So just make sure you layer this on lovely and thick. I'm saying that SMB is so white. It's Isn't it? It's gorgeous, gorgeous. But we have whipped the butter so it's lovely and light as well. There's been no colouring gone in here. I don't put colouring in. I never put white colour in in either. Michelle, you've not missed a lot. The sh I see sugar sale. It says it's a flash sale until five o'clock only. Yeah. So I finished the nifty nozzles. Icing sugars, whipping it up, and nifty nozzle um, piping tips. Yeah. So I did it for the British Sugar Craft Guild this morning, and then because I did it for them, I had to put it on the website, and I thought. Oh, if any of you are shopping on the website today, you'd be there thinking, oh, Carol doesn't know that there's sugar, so on discount. So I told John to send out a quick email so that you knew, so that you didn't have to put a sneaky few in your basket thinking I didn't know. <laughs> I do know. It's deliberate. <laughs> so just for today, it's not on all the time. So whipping it up is 3 99 Come on. So How could... many of you love whipping it up? I was talking to a lady See. yesterday. She said, I'm never going back to buttercream. So don't forget, this is a multi-mix. It was the only multi-mix developed. Okay, there's other companies now saying there's a multi-mix. It isn't. So remember, this mix was used at Squire's Kitchen for making macarons, pavlovas, royal icing, um, meringues. And all we've done is, and I'm just saying Squire's, Queen's, there's loads of brands. If you Google them, there's loads of brands out there that do individual macaron mixes. Just Google it. And they do individual pavlova mixes. Just Google it. Individual macro mix. Even Wilton does it. And all we've done is, I mean, Wilton have been doing them for years. All we've done is just made it into one. So Karen, uh, Karen on YouTube asks, can you use margarine? We're whipping it up instead of butter. Uh, no. No. No, it's got to be butter. And Samantha Goodman said, if she purchases the Wilton Deluxe Master Kit for nozzles, would it cover all the flowers in those cream flowers? It glass? would. But you won't get a set at the moment. Um, buy the gem set. So at the moment there's a gem set of nozzles. Wilton have got no stock here in the UK. See I'm going around this cape. They've got no stock in the UK at the moment. I, I tell you, the, I think the supplier, when I phone the supplier for Wilton, I think they want to go and shoot themselves or hide in a cupboard because they go that bloody Karen McFarlane's on the phone again. 
but you can't get anything Wilton in the UK at the moment. So as soon as they come in, I'll let you know, but they're not. Helen Miles is saying, do we need to get the frill tubes for this class? No. What class? For this class. No, no, no. I'm using the frill tubes. Frill tubes is for Butter Queen flowers, but that's not till February, so... Oh, she's asking in the buttercream because she's in the buttercream flowers. Oh, class. right. It's yes, for sorry. the buttercream flowers, but it's not going to be until uh, end of February. So we're doing free classes, so we're, we're streaming out of here till mid February. So remember, Helen, I was supposed to be going on holiday, coming back, having a week off. And there you go. John said, Well, I'm doing my practice classes. This is me practicing. Practicing okay. live. Hey? I don't know. Look at that. Right, okay, so I think you're supposed to smooth this cake, but we're not going to. We're going to do it the Carol McFarland way. Not. I can't be doing with the stress of smoothing it out Look all at that the time. Poster behind you. Pardon? Look at that poster behind you. Just wing it. <laughs> so we're going to put this in the freezer for five minutes, just while I have a little clean down. So what we'll do now is you can, we're going to have a break. That's what we'll do. So we've got five minutes, okay? So literally five minutes. Um, we'll put this in the freezer. In fact, no, I'll give you 10 minutes to get the cake in the freezer. So you've got 10 minutes now to go and have a quick wee-wee, get yourself a new brew, sit back down again, come back and join me, and then I'm going to have to smash this one out because we've got the Nifty Nozzles class. And if you're buying the Nifty Nozzles class, let me know here, and then I can let you into it if you're buying the Nifty Nozzles class. So let me know that you paid for it. Buy that separate. Don't buy it with products. So, um, so Terry's just going to put it up. We're back in... 3.40, that's the time, it's 3.40. It is now. Oh. So it's 3.50. 3.50. <laughs> that was a quick break. Hi! Did you enjoy your wedding? Did you have a cup of tea? There we go. <laughs> Good job, I saw I'm that. i <laughs> So 10 minutes, girls, and then go and do what you have to do. Come back, tell the husbands to wait for tea, because we've got another cake to do. All right? See you in a bit. Bye. Bye.